So, good afternoon and welcome to the inauguration of the Physiology Distinguished Lecture Series, sponsored by the Department of Physiology at the Defen David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. Uh, just for your, your curiosity, I had to say something about the logo that you're seeing in front of you. Uh, actually, is the speaker's curiosity as well. This is, uh, uh, was designed by a contest uh, among the people in the Department of Physiology, and we had uh, one contestant <laughs> <laughs> who won, <laughs> who won unanimously. And I think we are very fortunate that actually is outstanding. Uh, uh, it was designed by Dr. Hu San, and uh, I think we have to thank him. He unfortunately is not in the audience, and, uh, but I think I had to mention that. So the Department and Alicia initiative of the UCLA Distinguished Lecture Series emerged from the unanimous intention uh, to have a, an invited guest that would motivate students and young investigators in their research pursuit by being exposed to world pioneers uh, in topics related to physiology, be it uh, integrative, cellular, and molecular physiology. Uh, I think we are very fortunate that our preeminent choice as the inaugural speaker for this series, Professor Erwin Nair, the 1991 Nobel Prize in Physiology, accepted the invitation to be the inaugural lecturer for 2008. So, although Professor Nair, of course, doesn't need any introduction, uh, I want to just give a few bits of information that link him to UCLA, and I think that make his presence among us a little bit more significant. Uh, Erwin visited UCLA during the years 1975 and 76, working in the laboratory of Dr. George Eisenman, that uh, at that moment was a professor of physiology, uh, to investigate the ion conduction and selectivity properties of single channels created by the insertion of the antibiotic gramicidin in lipid bilayers. The significance of this work is that actually it was very critical to reinforce the conceptual uh, background at that moment that uh, single molecules can form ion channels uh, and that these ion channels can be selective they, and they open and close randomly and whose conductive process may be quasi-omic. So does this ring a bell to you? Uh, I think that everybody knows that that is the case now and uh, sure these ideas led to Erwin's pursuit uh, in ultra pioneering work with, uh, with Bert Sackman demonstrating that we were able to record uh, single channels from biological membranes. And they did it in the acetylcholine receptor from small patches of muscle membrane. In the process, Nea and Sagman invented the patch clamp, uh, demonstrated the import importance of the gigaohm seal, and, uh, and that resistances smaller than gigaohm were hopeless, and that uh, if you want to record single channel events in the act cells, of course, and in the process received the 1991 Nobel Prize of Physiology for the enormous implications that these findings had to biomedical research. So, but Professor Ney is not the type of investigator that solves one problem and stays quiet. He co keeps going. And since 19, 1980, roughly, his laboratory has really ultra pioneered again the study of single transduction processes responsible for exocytosis and endocytosis as they occur in circuitry cells and in synaptic transmission. In this realm, the NEA lab has perfected and combined the use of optical techniques and electrical techniques to measure uh, electrical signals and calcium signals from, muscles, uh, from cells in general. And also, he combined these techniques with capacitance measurements. And you'll have uh, plenty of time to I appreciate the level of sophistication of his experiments during his talk. But before finishing, I want to thank uh, Dr. Nair for something else. It's not only for that he is with us today, but also because his laboratory at the Max Planck Institute in Göttingen has been a real friendly research haven for UCLA researchers during the last 20 years. And that's the, the, the case for names that come along to me, to my mind at least, uh, as the late Roger Eckert, professor of biology, Joe Pilak, professor now in Vermont, Dick Horn, professor in Philadelphia, 
Julio Fernández in Colombia, Isabel Llano in France, George Augustine in Duke, etc., etc. The list is very long. Right now, for example, uh, one of my ex-students, David De Gregorio, is now teaching an imaging course in Gettingen. The bad luck for him is that Edwin is here. <laughs> But uh, we can only help that the UCLA getting, connect getting in connection is actively pursued and preserved in the future as it has been in the past. So please join me in inviting Professor Wiener to deliver the 2008 UCLA Physiology Distinguished Lecture entitled Multiple Roles uh, of Calcium Ions in the Regulation of Neurotransmitter Release. And my thing didn't work. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you very much.